Hello and welcome. In this very short video, I will try to walk you through the process of completing the roller coaster proposal assignment. I created this assignment as an evaluation tool for the curve sketching unit in the calculus and vectors course MCV for you. So in this assignment, you are asked to design a roller coaster and then use the equations of various functions that you've analyzed in the calculus and vectors course in order to uh, model the shape of the co roller coaster. All the graphs must be built on Desmos. So let's get started. This assignment is organized in three main parts. In part A, you have to write a plan that outlines the steps you took to complete your task. Remember that you will have various options to approach designing the roller coaster. The ones that I would propose are the following. Option number one, design and then model by using equations of functions. For example, you may use um, paper, pencil, your creativity, your incredible imagination, and you will draw a picture of a roller coaster. And then you take that picture, insert in Desmos, and then use equations of various functions to model the shape of the roller coaster that you designed. Option two. I call this the model as you go option. So what you do in this case is you get on Desmos and then you use equations of various functions, connect them with each other in order to create the shape of the roller coaster. Now there are certain parameters you need to keep in mind in this uh, portion of your assignment. Number one, you have to submit a typed up plan or an outline that describes a step-by-step -step process of how you approached and how you completed the assignment. You need to write the steps clearly and in order and please try to avoid repetitions. You may be as creative as you wish in your design and in the story of your design. For example, you may say things such as XYZ company hired my engineering team to design a roller coaster for a theme park that they're building in this part of the city. And um, our job is to create a roller coaster that is geared towards um, uh, the youth for children of age six plus. And then you can take it from there and, and continue on with the rest of the steps that you have to take in order to complete your assignment. Now the outline report, keep in mind, should not exceed one page, okay? And uh, it can be as short as about half a page, a little bit longer than half a page, but no longer than one page. So that's part A. Now in part B, which is the thinking and inquiry category portion of your assignment, once you create your idea about your design, you have to put this idea to work. So you build your roller coaster on Desmos. Now, the functions that you can use to model the shape of your roller coaster are the following. A polynomial function, either a sinusoid or cosinusoid. They're functions of the same nature, same shape. The only difference between the two is a horizontal translation, an exponential function of the form as described in here, or a logarithmic function with all the transformations. Remember, these are functions of the same nature. They're inverses of each other. And a rational function. Remember, you must use at least four out of the six types of functions that are listed in here. And I purposely uh, color-coded them, which means that you have to use a polynomial function. You have to use either one of the pink highlighted functions, so either a sine or a cosine, either an exponential or a log, and you must use a rational function. Now, another important thing that we must mention here, you can use a type of function more than once. So for example, if this is your roller coaster and you feel that you want to use a quadratic here, which is a polynomial of second degree, and a cubic in here, which is a polynomial of third degree, you can do so. But it is important that all these four types of functions are incorporated in your roller coaster, in designing your roller coaster. 
So next, keep in mind your domain should be between 0 and 180 seconds, which means that your, the ride should not be longer than 3 minutes. The range of the roller coaster would be between 0 and 300 feet. Remember that the current uh, tallest uh, roller coaster is about 460 feet, I think. Now, this is probably the most challenging part of this portion of the assignment. All functions must connect smoothly. And in order to assist you with this, I have uh, created a tutorial for you to um, learn from uh, about how to uh, connect the functions uh, with no interruptions or as smoothly as possible. Part C of your assignment will count for your knowledge, understanding, and application category marks. So what you want to do here is First, you pick a point where the roller coaster is going up, and on this empty spot, you will have to include a snapshot of the picture and the point. You have to mark the point where you are measuring or you are using to answer the following questions. So you have to determine the first derivative and evaluate the first derivative at that point, which will give the speed of the roller coaster at that point. And then you have to use or determine the second derivative and then evaluate it at that point, which means we're finding the acceleration of the roller coaster at that point. Now, next, you're doing something similar, but now with the point where the roller coaster is going down. So for this, what you want to do is, again, uh, you include a picture that uh, shows the point that you are using to measure the first and the second derivative at. So for example, somewhere in here. And then you have to evaluate first derivative at the point that you've marked, and then second derivative, in other words, determine speed and acceleration of the uh, roller coaster at the indicated point. And last but not least, you will have to do something similar, but this time for the highest point of the roller coaster, so obviously the first derivative here will have a value of zero. So we are going to focus on determining the second derivative only. And that will serve us to finding the acceleration at the highest point. So this is all that you have to work on. So at the end, you have to make sure that you submit the following files. So number one, you have to submit a written plan that outlines all the steps of the process that you follow to complete the assignment. Once you're done this, check. Part B, a full picture of the roller coaster with a list of the equations used and their respective domains. Once done this, check. Remember that the first two parts of the assignment will count for communication and thinking categories. And this will be explained or marked based on the rubric indicated here. So for the thinking and inquiry category, level four will be 12 marks, and then level three, nine marks, and then six, and then three marks. For the communication category, level four will be eight marks, and then six, four, and then two marks. Now, the last part of your assignment is the calculations, which will count for knowledge, understanding, and application categories. So complete the calculations in the spaces provided and submit the exact same pages. Once you're done at Depreciate, if you combine all the pages into a single PDF file, and then you um, include all the, or you, you order all the pages, uh, starting with part A, part B, and then part C. So I hope that you found these uh, instructions helpful, and uh, I hope that you really enjoy this assignment. And I'm looking forward to um, uh, seeing uh, all the creations and uh, your designs. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, or we will talk about um, any other uh, uncertainties or any other uh, vague uh, points or areas of this assignment in class. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.